Okay, wealth builders, I've been getting a lot of interest on my inverted yield curve and what that means in the investment market. Um, again, if you're investing short term, you should, your interest rate should be smaller than if you're investing for the long term, it should be bigger. That's totally messed up right now. Thank you, Federal Reserve. Anyways, here's an example with a million dollars. This is so crazy. So if I pop in a million dollars and I invest it for six months, I get 16,000 bucks. If I invest it for nine months, that's also 3.3%, 24,000. Here's where it gets funny, and this just shows you how messed up it is. If I invest it 11 months, I get 45 grand. If I invest it for 12 months, I get 41 grand. Holy biscuits, this is, this is inverted. This is upside down and backwards. So what that means is I want to invest for the short term and not the long term. That doesn't make any sense, right? It just is so completely backwards. So in practical aspects, the more you understand, the better your wealth building will go. But the biggest thing that we need to be concerned about is the policy of the Federal Reserve, the privately held for-profit corporation known as the Federal Reserve, and what they're doing with interest rates and why. So the biggest takeaway for me, I'm investing for the short term and I'm hedging for the long term. So we'll see what happens 11 months from now. If we invert that and I, I invest for another short period of time, maybe three months will be a better return than, than a nine month. It will be interesting to track. And that's part of the fun of wealth building is trying to unravel the crazy that is the psyche of our planet and our financial system. All right, stay strong, wealth builders.